Good morning, good morning, good morning. We got round three of the white paper review. This is a brand new game. It's actually still in early development. Um, so it hasn't even launched yet, but they, they've been getting a lot of hype around uh, the WAX network. <laughs> uh, from my understanding, they, they aren't going live until Q3 of this year. So they still have some time, but they've been selling packs. They've been building the hype. Their community has been growing fast, so I wanted to add this to my series of white paper reviews. And let's go ahead and dive into it. Uh, if you like this type of content, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, so we're going to be doing a lot more of these, uh, introducing you to, to new games that are either brand new or coming out soon. So you can make the decision on your side whether you want to join them or not. Please understand that I am not a financial professional. This is not financial advice. I am just here for your entertainment purposes only. So do your own research before you get into anything. Make sure it's right for you. Uh, don't just go from my account. Again, this is just my personal opinion and entertainment purposes only. I bet you're really tired of hearing that by now, but I gotta say it. All right, let's go ahead and dive in here. Um, this is called Moon Mining Helium-3, or H3. Essentially, what you're going to be doing as part of the game is you're one of the first colonies to land and try and live on the moon, and you are trying to harvest this helium asset. Why? Why do you want to harvest the helium asset? Is because it is clean energy, cleaner than anything on Earth, uh, which is why they're investing billions and billions of dollars to send you up there to do this game. <laughs> um, so, uh, all jokes aside, this is it looks like a very promising game. I like the concept. Uh, you, basically, the first miners on moon on the moon. I've actually seen some articles on Google of that actually potentially being a real thing of potentially down the road mining stuff from from moon i don't know how realistic that is but i i thought it was funny correlating this with that when i was doing the research um so that's in order to get to the game uh i'll go ahead and put the link to the game down below and i'll also put the link to uh the discord down below so go ahead jump over there say hi uh see if it's the right place for you all right but the the web address is moonminingh3.com so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, scrolling down, there is, a, like most games, they have different rarities with the cards. Uh, they have five different rarities overall, going from the common, which is called metal, then they have jade, and then they have silver as the rare, gold as epic, and helium as the legendary to go along with the, the overall theme of the game. So if you, you can, I'll refer to them both ways, but that's the overall rarities. It's very common th through all the games. Um, when you open packs, you have a certain percentage of each of the rarities uh, to open it up. So let's go down here. You can go ahead and read through the story. I gave you the, the high level uh, abbreviated version. Uh, you're gonna be the first colony on, on the moon. I think I said the moon, hopefully I said the moon. Um, and you're just trying to, to harvest the helium, which is similar to helium-4 that, you know, that blows up balloons. Uh, but it is a clean energy helium-3, and that's going to be the token in the game. As far as the packs go, they, they've sold a number of packs. I'm going to quick jump over here to, to Nefty. You can see that they've been through a number of pack sales so far, which is interesting considering how early in the game it is or how early in the development it is that they're selling packs already uh, but you have the opportunity to go out there and invest early um, right now they still have two at the time of this recording they still have two different types of packs available um, uh, they sold out of the third one which was this one this actually just launched uh, two days ago um, so you can go out there and grab some packs if that's what you want to do uh, just jumping into the packs quickly um, this is the the gold version which I believe has eight, eight buildings. And you can see the percentage here. And the other option is the silver one, which I think is two or three, let me tell you, four. Uh, it has four buildings and the, the rates for the different rarities is, is uh, lower from that. It's harder to get higher rarity items uh, with the silver pack. Um, considering it's only a, a $10 difference, um, 
if I was buying right now, I would go with the gold. Um, but they, I, I'm not sure how many, let me quick see. I think they have uh, a roadmap. There we go. Here's the roadmap. Um, we've already been through a number of these. They actually have dates here, which is nice for a roadmap. Usually you don't have to see the dates on there. They just did this, uh, this one. Um, one other quick note to, and, I, and I'll show you this in the, the white papers. There's actually four corporations that are mining on the moon. Um, so each pack that you buy correlates with a different uh, corporation. Um, not sure how, how that competition will go in the long run. I'm assuming you're competing against different corporations, similar to Krypton as an example, where you have the three factions and you're competing against the other ones. I'm assuming that's the same way with this, the corporations. Um, so they're going through the, the Terra uh, purchases right now. Uh, as I mentioned, I just showed you the packs for the buildings. The machineries go on sale on March 2nd. Then the next corporation is mid-March into late March. So you have plenty of opportunities coming up in the near future to go ahead and uh, purchase packs if you want. And you saw that I showed you that they're reasonably priced, unlike some of the other games that we've, we've seen in the past. Uh, $10, $20 for a pack is a pretty good price. And they've, they've also mentioned, and I, I don't think it shows it in the white papers, but we'll take a look. Um, you do have the option to blend. For example, if you have eight metals you can blend those to to a jade and so forth down the road so it's if you get a whole bunch of commons it's not like you're stuck with them you have the opportunity to blend even with the, the lower prices uh, then if i scroll down here a little bit more uh looks like the token will be at the end of this quarter uh quarter two i should say oh sorry and a quarter one uh, and as I mentioned, the blending will be available. It is not available yet. I did check over in Nefty. You don't have the option to blend yet. Uh, and then the alpha is going to kick in sometime between Q2 and Q3. I'm sure there's going to be a number of tests between now and then. Um, down here is the team. You can go ahead and look them up if, if you want to. Um, and then let's jump over to the white papers. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because they actually had quite a bit of information on the website um, that covers the, the details. Um, as I mentioned, the introduction, I'm going to scroll through those quickly. This is where we get into the different uh, types of NFTs. They have land, which is just like any other game, that you have a certain amount of land, uh, usually a very high price, and we can jump over to, um, to Atomic Hub, and you can see that the lowest price land that they've dropped so far is ridiculous. This is actually not a bad price considering the price of all the other lands that are on the market. Um, obviously, I'm not going to pay $1,200 right now for a game that's still in development, but it's if you want to get in there early, it's an option. Um, let me jump back over. So land is, is the main point it's where all your buildings are, and I'm assuming the landowners are going to get a certain percentage of anyone that puts buildings on there. You put your buildings on there, which uh, I think this is a I wish there's a, a better view of this. It just seems very squished. Um, let's see if I do this. Will that change it? No, not really. Ah, it does a little bit. It's actually a little bit better. I should have done that first. Sorry about that. Um, the buildings is next. There's different types of buildings. We'll actually dive into the buildings here in a little bit, show you a little bit more about them. And then there's machines, as you saw from that, that roadmap that I showed over here. Uh, machines are, are going on sales for the Tierra uh corporation on march 2nd and so forth Oops. uh so there's different buildings i'm not sure of all the interactions um there is a chart down here in a second that kind of shows you the interactions between the, the different buildings machines and the land um but i wanted to show you one more time that there are different rarities uh for the different cards and you can actually see i, I like how they actually put the numbers down here i didn't notice that the last time i looked at the, the white papers there's only a total of 2,000 of each of these cards, 1,600, and helium is only 100 cards. So that makes it extremely limited. And obviously, with any legendaries, uh, that makes sense. I already talked through the roadmap. Um, and this is the corporations that I mentioned. These are the four corporations. They all represent some sort of um, mineral or material. Uh, you have the water, you have the phoenixes of fire, you have the earth, and we have the air. 
And then scrolling down uh, just a little bit further, we have the interactions and the cards. There will be a lot more detail down the road as we get closer to the gameplay time. But just to give you an overall uh, understanding of what the, the cards represent, you'll have four numbers on each corner of the card. And then you have a little icon. I don't think it'll, oh, it does let me scroll in there, nice. Um, you have a little icon on each of the corners that show what kind of, um, basically the account for, for example, this is power. Um, so you, this produces two power, the, the solar panels. Um, and let me scroll out here. I just want to make sure I get it right. You got hydrogen, water, and oxygen in each of the corners. So each type of building does a different thing. For example, this, the ice purifier, it produces two power and also produces two water. So each building has its own benefits. You go down here, you get the elect electronized water, um, basically output of two oxygen, input of two water, and so forth. I'm not going to go through each of those, but you get the gist of them. Uh, obviously, the icon down here shows building. And then you have the machines down here for each each of the corporations. Um, a similar similar thing, each, each of the four corners has its own icon or, or mark to it. The only difference is this corner down here, instead of it producing power, it produces the helium three, the, essentially the coin or the token that you're trying to produce. So you can go through that and, and each of the, the rarities for the different cards has a boost in the production. For example, this is a, I believe this is a metal card. As you go up to the jade, this could be a four or six or so forth as you go on through the process. So that's what makes them more valuable as you, as you go up the chain. And last but not least, the tokenomics. Um, it doesn't. It shows the the breakdown of of where the distribution is going to be for for the tokens. The one thing I did wish it mentioned a little bit more was the burning mechanisms uh, for the tokens. Uh, I'm assuming since there's only one token, I'm assuming it's similar to every every other one token game. You produce it, you sell it. Uh, possibly minimal minimal uh, usage of it. Um, obviously, that's pure speculation. Um, as we get closer to gameplay, I'm sure they'll be listing a lot of different burn, burning mechanisms. As I always state, the more burning mechanisms, uh, the better for the overall value of the token. I know it means a little less profit for you each time, but it also means the value stays higher because people aren't just producing mass quantities and dumping it all on the market. So that's why I, I, I tend to normally refer to burn mechanisms when I'm talking about tokenomics. All right, this is the overall white papers of the game so far that they've announced. If you go to the website and you go to the Discord, again, I'll mention down in the comments below, they do have videos that they've released that you can go ahead and watch. I won't show them on here for copyright reasons, um, but you can go to the websites and, and check those out and, and get a better feel for it. I like the concept of the game, still early. Uh, um, I wanna know more about tokenomics. I wanna know more about uh just the overall gameplay uh the phases i'm assuming there's gonna be different phases as they're going through that that are mentioned in here um i, I just want to know what the what the plan is for the longevity i like the concept um i think it's something that's definitely worth checking out if you like sci-fi planet type of things uh so if you do go ahead and check it out uh comment down below if you have any questions and i will talk to you all tomorrow thank you have a great day